Good afternoon and welcome to Enormous Tastes. I'm Tom Plant. Once again, we are live at the LI Promo Creative Studios in Wildemar, California. And cheers. How are you this afternoon? I am uh, delighted to be with you. Uh, it's been a fun week, another interesting week. And uh, I wound up getting together with a, an old friend of mine, Chef Gian Piero Giamanco. Uh, and uh, I'll share that visit that we had uh, at Il Tramonto in Old Town in just a few minutes. Uh, but what's going on? Well, um, the situation in Temecula wine country uh, kind of changes by the minute, as it has been for the past uh, several weeks. Uh, the latest change is that there is no more live music, and that's not just at the wineries. There's no live music anywhere in uh, Riverside County. So uh, a lot of people are scrambling. Uh, I had a couple of events planned that I had to uh, kind of uh, rearrange. But anyway, um, tasting rooms in Temecula are open. The caveat being that you have to have an outdoors tasting area. The tasting rooms themselves are closed. Uh, that's probably for the foreseeable future, but uh, you know, I've kind of got my finger on the pulse. I'm out in wine country as often as I can be, and I'll certainly keep you posted on that. Uh, I'd like to raise my glass to you this afternoon. We are enjoying a bottle of, and I'll do my best to, uh, to not butcher this. It's a Bila Haute 2012 the Côte de uh, Roussillon village. Uh, I would call this a, uh, a, uh, a Rhone blend. It's probably got some Grenache and Mourvet in it. Um, I think this wine would have been a little better maybe three years ago, uh, but it's still holding up for uh, an eight-year-old uh, wine uh, made with grapes that aren't uh, necessarily designed to age. Uh, I think it's held up pretty well. Anyway, that's what's going on. Let's uh, cut to my visit with uh, Chef John Piero. Uh, he's uh, just a fascinating guy. He's uh, got a wonderful heart. And before our visit, uh, we spent about a good 20 minutes or more uh, talking, uh, just visiting and catching up, a uh, really heart-to-heart -heart visit. And um, so anyway, why don't we just cut right to, uh, right to our visit together. And this is me with uh, Chef uh, John Piero, and you'll hear uh, how he likes you to refer to him. I am here with Chef Gian Piero, but uh, we've been friends for a couple of years now, and I like to call you Chef Giampi. Absolutely fine, sir. Actually, you know what? Even better, because I can see people sweating, especially that now is the summertime. We can even cut it there and call it Chef G. Perfecto. We don't want people sweating, especially that in California we have a really, really hot weather then let's make the people job easy. Chef G is with a friend of his, Tom. Hi Tom, how are you sir? I'm wonderful Chef G, it's so good to see you. It's been way too long. Pleasure is mine sir. We're here at your Il Tramonto uh, restaurant in Old Town Temecula and uh, things were really going pretty well for you until the shutdown, correct? That's correct sir, but you know, uh, the sad, the sad part of life didn't come just to us, come to all the world. And uh, I believe that the reason why I came to the world was uh, for the fact that to uh, the big message which has been sent to be all together. Then uh, it wasn't fair the message going to us or to someone else. It wasn't just a fair to be spread in a equal way to all of us, to show that uh, there is only one word, together. This has had a tremendous impact on you personally, hasn't it? It's, 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 is it fair to say it's shaken your world? Yes, uh, shaking uh, because, uh, you know, uh, Tom, uh, uh, part of my life has been uh, dedicated uh, to, the, to the passion, the passion born because you want to do something for mom and dad, you want to try to do something, you want to try to share your culture with your brothers and sisters or with your children. And you know, of course, 37 years of this beautiful sacrifice life dedicated to this Sicilian cuisine uh, it's been a little bit tough, why? Because, you know, restaurant or industry which deal with food, 
is uh, is not the same industry which you can deal with the a call and say yes or a call and say no because behind the scenery there is so much which we do every day we try to work with the fresh produce we try to give the customer the best uh, uh, availability of the day which recently has been not the same lots of uh, uh, fish plates lots of meat suppliers lots of italian import uh, they had the same problem which we all had and then uh, sadly uh, you know the first news was to cut down all the our employees for sure we did the majority of them they are all now on unemployment all of them they are on unemployment uh, we try you know to try to work very hard but still to deliver the message that we are still here for all of you but of course you know uh, the time has been going for a long time now and uh, we're going to the four, five times, five months now, which uh, is not ideal to deal with. We're sitting here on your patio, and this is where where people can dine now at El Tramonto. Only only dining at the the patio right now, and we are uh, been uh, uh, we've been doing uh, some to go as mm -hmm. well which we are very i mean very happy that at least we had another extra option because so let's not forget we are really blessed that we have this little patio but still com compare the amount of customer which we used to do before is just so small percentage then uh, luckily last week the city is helping us to giving us possibly uh, three spaces over here, which we are going to plan. We don't know if we're going to be ready this week or next week. We're going to put maybe another four, four table over here, which we're going to give uh, uh, an extra capacity for uh, the, our customer to enjoy the beautiful food, for sure. We don't have to forget that. that's so No, we can't forget we that. We can't forget that. And, uh, you know, and the beautiful thing is that the good food, of course, it will be taste much better beside the who's gonna cook for sure <laughs> but because it's been hit outside because this is an amazing feeling when i was driving here coming down old town front street i noticed that several restaurants have extended the sidewalk yes and they have they're right out to the street now that's but, correct but, so that's this correct. is what you're hoping to do we are hoping because you know i believe that uh, in uh, in california for sure more than a other state we have the luck that uh, we have we are so blessed that we have this beautiful sun shining and we probably can say all year around and you know that's why probably at the beginning i chose california because california remind me sicily you know uh, the beautiful uh, the beautiful life in which we're living I know it's very stressful you know right now but you know when you spend the majority of your day outside and you can breathe the hay and you can watch the beautiful sun and you can watch all the beautiful nature around you it make you so happy then you know I believe that message it could uh, it could uh, it could be received a little bit fast then uh, you know let's uh, let's hope that uh, this is going to become uh, one of the one of of course one of the best street in all town you're going to bring a lots of light a uh, lots of laughing outside a lots of smell of food let's hope that my smell it's gonna go, it's gonna be so strong that it's gonna move to the main street and then you go on the fourth and then you go on the third. I have no doubt. I have no doubt, my friend. You told me when we first visited how you start your day every day. Do you wanna share that with uh, with me? Of Again, course. How of do you course. start your day? Well, uh, you know, uh, all the 37 years of experience, to be honest with you, sir, and that is very familiar because uh, I had the absolute pleasure and honor a couple of years ago, thanks to Il Tramonto too, uh, which uh, it made my my day so absolutely full of honor. 
and soul happiness to share one of the the concept uh, of Ziggy Marley which uh, we all know who Ziggy Marley is and uh, as I say to him uh, when we had the pleasure to have uh, the five minutes to talk and share uh, the few thoughts I had the pleasure to took some of my little Sicilian cookies and bread <laughs> to one of his children which they were actually eating and be happy and that is what is the food about I say to Ziggy Ziggy you know my day start always in all the 37 years with a beautiful shot of a single espresso and this is what usually is given me or is being given me all my life the kind of uh, power the kind of a uh, strength the kind of a uh, uh, companion it's been my companion but now you know what sir this is uh, still available this is uh, still enjoyable but you know what uh, sir one thing uh, that is giving me the strength the happiness and the hope it's been reggae but why reggae uh, not yet reggae reggae because uh, because it's reggae and we share that love we share your... the love with uh, you my friend Tom we share the love with another friend of us which I don't know if we are allowed to say hi to him which of is course not, he's not with us anymore but he's moving to building up his beautiful mansion in mm -hmm. in Oregon yes how are you Bernie our friend Bernie Bramante Bernie Bramante we love you Bernie <laughs> yes we do we love you and we're thinking about you so, Chef, when, when are you open? What are your hours? Well, we are, uh, we are uh, changing everything. Uh, then uh, we, so far, we starting uh, to do Monday and Tuesday, which is our two days off. Then the restaurant El Tramonto start from Wednesday to Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. Now, the Thursday, the Friday and the Saturday, we are starting to do some lunch too from nice. tomorrow, which we will be open from 12 to 3. And then, as usually, we restart from 5 to close. That is the only few changing of time which we did so far. Then, like I say, we open five days a week, Wednesday to Sunday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we are doing lunch from 12 to 3. And then Wednesday to Sunday, we will do from 5 to close the hour dinner service. And reservations, I would imagine, are highly recommended. Come now, on. reservation, they will be highly recommended because as you all are aware, we are not responsible for any kind of a matter happening because, you know, the seat available the number of the seat available are very restricted then uh, we are encouraged to reserve do the reservation only because we are trying to give our best shot to please all of our customers some days we are quite uh, lucky to do some others we can't but it's not up to us it's up to the structure to the to the what we call we say with the restriction that the COVID has yes. bring to us. When we were talking before we went on camera, you showed me your coat and you showed me your flags. Do you mind sharing that with our viewers? We have a three important flag over here. This is the Italy. This is the United States, which uh, they've been put here because uh, you know. They are, uh, they are the, the two country which they are, uh, they are on my heart and they've been putting here because they've been giving me the beginning of my growing to the end of my growing. But now there is another country which I would love to pay respect because uh, you know, it's not just the reggae which bring me, remind me that. It's something else which one of these days perhaps I would be very happy to share with you. 
the country which we're talking, it will be that. Jamaica. It is a Jamaica. And the only reason why is that because the only word and the only message which since I was a baby was was a one word, one love, one song, you know, one heart. It means that uh, you could come with together. And the message together is uh, it's a big message, but you know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because I'm, I'm sure that if we're going to be together, I think we have a lot of high possibility to make this world a little bit better. And it will be all right, won't it? Yes. Yes, it will be. And uh, my friend, I would be no surprise if in this little tree, we're going to see the little tree bird singing there. Wonderful. Yes. You know the color Three of the tree birds. bird, sir? No. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Tom, I really appreciate, sir. I hope that, that this, this beautiful uh, uh, catch up is going to bring a lot of uh, positivity, a lot of uh, good uh, happiness, but also the most important things. I think we talk at the beginning. Yes. We, we talk about another word which we would like to highlight before we close. Yes. Tom, which was the word I say to you? Help. Help. The help word, uh, you know, the help word is very complicated. It seems like you have a lots of uh, foundation, which if you try to push, you can't move because it's uh, so attached. But I can promise you, guys, if we try to move it slightly all together, this word the help, it will be available. And then when we need the help, we will have help. But let's not forget which before we need help, we have to give help. And I can guarantee guys or people, the word, it will be not attached anymore to the ground. Peace and love, guys. Thank you very much, Tom. Bye. Thank you very much to all of you. And I hope that, that this message is going to bring a lot of happiness and a lot of peace in all the world, especially around us. Thank you. He's quite a character and, and just a great guy. Uh, if you have not been to Il Tramonto, I, I just couldn't recommend a place more highly. Chef G, uh, John Piero and his wife, um, Lynn, are lovely people. The food is extraordinary, uh, and you can dine out on the, the sidewalk now, out on the patio. And but like uh, like I said, do make a reservation. Um, I want to thank you as always for for joining us today. I hope you uh, were able to share a little wine with me, and uh, invite you to join us next uh, next Thursday afternoon at five o'clock for our next installment of Wine Ormus Tastes. Don't know who uh, next week's guest will be yet, but we will definitely find someone. And <clears throat> thank you again. We'll see you next week. Have a great week.